What's up, it's the B I G F A T H E R. You are now tuned back into the gaming channel. What's up out there? Today we about to take a look at 45 creepy, scary, spooky, and strange videos to hit the internet. I'm about to play some of this Resident Evil 4 while y'all sit back and grab your popcorn and just take a look at these spooky, creepy, and scary, and strange videos to hit the internet. You did. No, that's true. Wait, wait, you're gonna hit the spotlight. Wait, come around, come around. Oh, whoa! It's gone down, it's gone down, it's a course, sir. It's just steady. Oh, no, it's right now. Look! Check that out. What is going on here, guys? Now he's going to check this with the dollar bill. Pay very close attention. It's really creepy. I want to know your take. Is this a real deal? Do you have a microscope to check it out? Leave a comment. What is going on here? It's said that the shape-shifting lizard people have been on Earth since ancient times, coming from the Alpha Draconis star system. They have been working behind the scenes and in the shadows, slowly clawing their way up to the top, with one goal, total world domination. And conspiracists say they have done it, successfully infiltrating world governments. Controlling everything from the media to finance. Much evidence has been brought forward, showing these lizard people as celebrities or leaders of countries, revealing weird eye movements as well as unexplained mannerisms. The most terrifying thing is that we can't tell who's real and who isn't. If the most prominent people in the world are not who they are, who knows what they can actually do? He ain't got no guts. I cleaned him out. It's a bow fin. He ain't got no head. It's in the sink. But he's and still I, alive. And I am fighting him left and right to scale <laughs> There ain't no freaking way this is real. Yeah. It's, there ain't no dude again. Okay. But, but, this can't be real. He ain't got no guts. He ain't got no head. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> I don't believe that. Yeah, because of that, he's slippery. Oh my god. He ain't got no guts. Oh my god. Do it again. <laughs> Hold on to him, right? No guts. No guts. There ain't no guts in there. See, I then skinned him, and now I'm just... Like, they should I'm be just... ready to put in the pan. <laughs> Have you ever stopped to wonder if our phones are actually spying on us? Well, wonder no more. A couple of months ago, Bree Thomason found out through an infrared camera accidentally that our iPhones are taking invisible pictures of us every five seconds. Check this out. Friday night findings. We just discovered, which we already knew, that your phone, an iPhone specifically, takes an infrared picture of you with your face ID every five-ish seconds and we 
looked at it through an infrared camera, and it's pretty wild. Let's show you. Okay, have your home screen. It's on the home screen. Not touching anything. No buttons. Okay, infrared lens on the camera. Boom, there was one. Two. <laughs> That's so wild. Okay, cover the camera. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Okay, nothing. Oh, it's trying. It's taking pictures of your finger. Okay, move your finger. Ready? Boom. <laughs> this is something that we can't see with the naked eye. However, with an infrared camera, we can. A lot of people started yeah. testing it out. It's picking me up right now. It became a viral sensation, and there are thousands and countless videos of people trying to stay out with their infrared cameras. And well, news stations started trying to explain this. Apple released an official note, and apparently, what they're saying is that this is an aspect of the iPhone. It has to do with Face ID and an emoji. However, internet users were baffled and confused, and so am I. Because if this does has to have to do with Face ID, why does it take these invisible pictures every five seconds and not all the time? How does this thing work? It doesn't make sense, does it? Hmm. The men in black are real. For decades, people have reported encountering these strange men after they witness a UFO. In many cases, they show up at witnesses' houses in vintage black cars to ask bizarre and intimidating questions. There's also something strange about them, as they appear to void facial features or are often sickly pale and act almost robotic with their movements. It's said that these are either government agents or aliens trying to cover up UFO activity. That is why many believe. There's a couple of really strange looking men that were here. And they kind of freaked everybody out. And they were asking questions about you. And of course, now I'm getting a little bit nervous. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And he said, well, they were, he goes, I don't know how to describe them except for extremely odd looking. They were the exact same height. They were wearing the exact same clothes and they had the exact same faces, like they were twins. And he said they were wearing black suits, black trench coats. They were wearing like the old fashioned uh, Federal hats. They had extremely, extremely pale skin. And he said they came in and they asked for you. And I said, I'm sorry, he's actually not working today. And it seemed like they didn't believe me. So they started to walk around the hotel and shortly after they went to the tour desk but he goes they freaked me out and i really wanted to tell you that there are these weird guys in here looking for you so of course now i'm a little bit skeptical and a little bit freaked out all at the same time so the first thing i do is i run into my security office and i rewound the cameras and sure enough there here comes two gentlemen through the front door looking exactly how he described then the next day, I was talking with my uh, tour guest, and one of them um, asked to talk to me. She came in my office, the same as my bellman, and she said, I heard that you heard that there were some men looking for you. And she said, they asked a few questions about you, and they said strange things that I didn't understand. And they were talking about governments and conspiracies, and none of it made any sense to me. But she goes, they were very, very scary. She said they had no eyebrows, no eyelashes, nothing. Their hair looked like they had a wig on, like it was attached to their hat, like it wasn't even real. And she said, and the scariest thing, their eyes were so big and so blue that they almost hypnotized me a little bit. And she goes, and you're going to think I'm crazy when I tell you this, but I swear they knew what I was thinking. And she started to cry, and she said one more thing before she left. She said, these men, they didn't blink. Not once did I see them blink. No illusion before, it's phenomenal, I love this. Two ounces is supposed to fill all of these, one at a time. And then at the end, all everything goes back into the two ounces and these are empty. But we've gone to the next level. If you know anybody that has kids, you gotta, you gotta share this. This is just absolutely 
incredible. It's just, it's just too much. It's just too much milk. How am I gonna do this? My gosh. Oh my lord. It's too much, too much darn milk. It's just, it's too much darn milk. Get rid of this. And then at the end, in the comments, said, oh, man, you have done it again. This is too much fun. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. Cheers. Wake up one minute, bro. They scared. Oh my God. First of all, we all know how the dollar bill be having so many subliminal messages behind this shit, bro. Now, bro, fold your dollar bills up just like this right now, bro. And then look, I'm about to point it out to y'all. Do y'all see this shit, bro? Hold on. Bro, look what the dollar bill look like, bro. What do y'all see? Do y'all see that shit? Bro, this shit is crazy. Look, I had to zoom in real quick, bro. Do y'all see the details of the mint? The mint means face, by the way, because I'm from Philly, you feel me? Watch this. First off, type in flat earth backwards into Google and put dot com at the end. See where it takes us. Oh, NASA.gov. Now that's just the tip of the iceberg. Let's dive deeper. So we all know this is how the Bible explains the earth. But according to NASA, it looks something like this. Now I'm about to use the Bible to show you how NASA trolled everyone. So this is from the book of Genesis. This is when Satan deceived Eve to eat the apple. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me. The serpent is Satan. Now what does this word beguiled mean? And in the Hebrew translation of the Bible, beguiled translates to NASA. So NASA means to deceive. Now remember, it was the serpent who beguiled Eve. Take a look at NASA's logo. That red thing is a serpent tongue. Search up serpent on Google. A large snake, a sly or treacherous person, especially one who exploits a position of trust in order to betray it. There is no space. We need to hold NASA accountable. We're giving them 26 billion of our dollars every year for them to sit around and create CGI pictures. It's time something is done about it. And I prayed about it and I thought, I'm not missing that dedication in Jerusalem without the airplane that we have that I bought from Tyler Perry. And I didn't pay anywhere. And Tyler's one of the greatest guys. He made it. He made that airplane so cheap for me. I couldn't help but buy it. Well, my question then, well, well, okay, all right, but I want to get to the demons because people are very concerned about that comment. Give me a chance here, Inside Edition. I love your eyes. Do you ever use your private jets to go visit your vacation homes, for example? Yes, I do. Okay, again, getting back to the comment, you said that you don't like to fly commercial because you don't want to get into a tube with a bunch of demons. Do you really believe that human beings are demons? No, I do not. And don't you ever say I did. We wrestle not with flesh and blood, but principalities and powers. Can you explain what you meant by that, that, by that term then? Just, just explain, because it's really simple. You said you didn't want to get into a tube with a bunch of demons. What did you mean? Shigama. A man on TikTok has been experiencing a strange transformation in his body, a shape-shifting transformation according to him, after having spent some time in the Navy, and this is his first video on TikTok, check this out. A real reptilian eye doesn't necessarily have a slit. It has a membrane that can slide back and forth, allowing people to see a little bit better in the dark. It also allows you to change the color of your eye just a little bit. If you notice the changes on my page, I've had these changes the last year and a half. Uh, share it if you want. Say it's cap if you want. I don't give a shit, but it's real. After having his account and his videos deleted, he opened a second account and uploaded this video. Check this out. Now, what you're about to hear is real. My name is 
it's not too important. The information I'm about to tell you is extremely important. I was an intelligence specialist with the United States Navy. Since then, if you watch my other videos, you realize that strange things have started to happen to my body. If you remember, my eye has started to get more of a slit in a reptilian or I guess snake eye appearance. If you look at my other videos or what I'm adding right here, you can actually see up close what my eye looks like. If you remember my body in certain areas, like for example, look at my elbows on both sides. I'm growing additional limbs, my hands, my thumbs. They're extending and growing too. At first, I just put out a cry for help on TikTok. I didn't know who's going to answer, who's going to respond. Other people out there that went through similar experiences. <laughs> Traveled 37 years into the future. In the summer of 1955, passengers boarded a plane that took off from New York to Florida. The flight was only supposed to take three hours, but once it was over the Atlantic Ocean, the plane disappeared off the radar without a trace. Hours passed and the rescue team was sent to find the plane, but their efforts were futile and it was later assumed that Pan Am Flight 914 had crashed. The airlines declared the case closed until 37 years later in Venezuela when an air traffic controller, Juan de la Corte, identified a mystery plane claiming to be Flight 914, requesting permission to land in Miami, Florida. The authorities were called and the plane landed safely. However, after realizing what year it was, the captain, still in shock, yelled over the radio to stay away, frantically started up the plane and took off into the horizon and was never seen again. That is why many people are wondering. At the end of this clip, it's revealed that the black cat is actually Michael Jackson. In this next clip, you will see him change from green and back. Next, we'll notice his eyes look like reptilian eyes. Not a zombie or a werewolf. And again, in this scene, he'll go from human back to green. I guess zombies can be any color, but green is the most noticeable color. Reptilian eyes. Mike says he doesn't write his own songs. I understand that some people give credit to a higher being for their talents, but watch until the end. I'm just a source, I'm just a tunnel, a tube through which they come. I feel somewhere in space they've all been written before. I mean, Billie Jean and Beat It and all those songs have been up there somewhere. It just came through to me. That's how I really feel. So I, I, even though I did it, I just can't always take credit. It's like any great artist, I guess, Leonardo da Vinci. I mean, be doing it, but it's some other higher force that's higher making force. it happen. Maybe that's who we see in the next clip doing the moonwalk. Yes, the film is greeny, but just pay attention to his entire body. He seems to get bigger and turn green. In particular, watch his neck and his eyes start to bolt. Check it out. After watching this video hundreds of times, it's still hard for me to admit that Mike could have been a shapeshifter. I'll admit, I am a little suspect. Look at his eyes. And that neck is a little bit long. You. Be the judge. They executed a plan that was already planned. Okay, here's the one to the five. The towers are hit. 
the, the buildings are falling, the buildings are gone, and all there's left is smoke. This is not a joke, okay? Now, somebody, I can hear some pastor right now. Oh, you're spreading fear. You know, truth is only fearful to those that don't want the truth because they would rather hide themselves from the truth. And you ready for this, folks? If I take the $20 bill right now and I fold it like such in front of you, and this is the one, this is the this is the mind blower, okay? You tell me what you see when I fold this $20 bill. I'm going to fill the whole I'm going to cut off his head a little bit here. Do you see a guy wearing a mask? Is there a guy wearing a mask? Is that is that Andrew Jackson upside down, but they made his head bigger because they want him to wear a mask? And what year do they want him to wear a mask? Oh, look at that. 20. 20. Did this man get stuck in the past? In 1995, Mike Markham set out to create a time machine. His idea was to use compact lasers to reduce the air pressure going in either pole direction. Mike was a recluse and worked tirelessly on his invention. On one occasion, he even caused a citywide blackout. However, it might have benefited him as he garnered some attention and received anonymous donations to help fund his invention. When asked about what he would bring if he could time travel, he simply replied, my cell phone. However, in 1997, Mike and his work mysteriously disappeared without a trace. Soon afterwards, a news story was uncovered from the 1930s, claiming that an unrecognizable man was found crushed in a metal tube on a California beach. And the only thing found with the body was a cell phone from the 1990s. going to end the world's 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 going to end every street i've been on there's this guy behind me if you've ever had the feeling that someone's watching you then this next video is likely to give you the chills the footage was uploaded to tiktok by user chexy laughs and shows a man being inexplicably followed as he goes about his day thought he'd leave me alone. When the poster realizes he's being followed, he quickly hides around the corner to surprise the man. What do you want? Later that day, the poster sees the man once again, this time on a train. Summoning his courage, he decides to confront him. However, the man claims he's not actually following him. I'm not following you. Where are you going? Home. And where's your place? In an effort to ditch the strange man, the poster runs from the train. But sure enough, when he looks back, he's still there. I got out just before the doors closed. Normally, he couldn't have followed me. Unfortunately, this is where the clip ends and we're left wondering what happened next. The abrupt ending has sparked intense curiosity with many left yearning to know the subsequent events. Given the unsettling nature of the clip, numerous concerned viewers have urged the poster to involve law enforcement and officially report the incident, suggesting that there might be more to the situation than meets the eye. So what would you do if you found yourself in a similar situation? Would you call the police or try and outsmart them on your own? Let me know in the comments down below. I got out just before the doors closed. Normally he couldn't have followed me. Space. There's a theory that we haven't ever been to outer space because of a transparent barrier that surrounds our entire world. And that past this barrier isn't open space or a vacuum, but water. Now, it all might sound crazy, but back in 1962, the US government launched a couple of nukes into the sky to allegedly test out the atmosphere's reaction to them. Or, that's what they want us to believe. 
but some say they were actually trying to see if they could crack that invisible barrier. Ironically enough, this program was called Operation Fishbowl. This theory is further speculated, as many have said that if you look at the stars with your own eyes, or zoom in on them with a camera, it seems to be twinkling or shining through a liquid-like substance. As rocket enthusiasts have observed, that rockets we have launched do seem to hit an invisible ceiling that causes a ripple-like effect that you would see in water, leading to a pretty strange thing. SpongeBob night! Liam, come here. Liam, c right now. What is happening? Okay, I'm calling your mom. Just stay right here. It's said that in the last days before God destroys the earth, that this great river will dry up. Well, the river is almost dry. But that's not all. The Bible says that God chained up four fallen angels and imprisoned them underneath that river. And according to the Bible's timeline, when that river dries up, they will be released from under the river to slaughter one-third of mankind. So, it's only a matter of time before... How the f*** am I supposed to get across this? Are you serious? Kardashians cursed all the men in their lives. It was alleged that a woman who was an ancestor of the Kardashians sacrificed her soul to four witches in Armenia in order for all the women in her bloodline to always have fame, fortune, and beauty while the men around them suffer. Just to take a look at a few of them, Scott Disick, who went from being a relatively successful businessman to developing severe alcoholism and depression in front of the whole world. Travis Scott, who went from having the number one album in 2018 then becoming the most hated and disgraced artist of all time and not releasing an album since. Caitlyn Jenner, who ruined her relationship with Chris and her children and later got ostracized by her own community. Kanye West, from being at the top of his career to being locked in a mental hospital and running his 2020 presidential run. Pete Davidson, now undergoing trauma therapy after the negative media attention from being with Kim. With all that said, it isn't really a long shot to say that. Alexa. How do we exit the simulation? For humans, dreaming is a gateway to other dimensions. It allows the human soul to exit its pod and wander into the endless universe. That is so creepy. That that is that gave me chills actually just 2017. Indeed you can find this in 30 minutes and 22 seconds. Well, I'm going to play the original video and you guys tell me what you think. Let's take a look at the original video. I'm gonna zoom in and replay the video. Pay very close attention. What is going on here, guys? Look at that. Oh my gosh. I wanna know your thoughts. Is this the real deal or is it maybe fake CGI? You tell me. is an unidentified photo of a man back in the 1800s that looks almost identical to Matthew McConaughey. Or this photo of another unidentified man in the 1800s that looks just like Eddie Murphy. This could literally be his twin brother. And that's not all. It just continues to get weirder and weirder. Next is a picture of an Egyptian actress whose name is Zubeda Tharwal that looks exactly like Jennifer Lawrence. Also look at David Schwimmer and Johnny Depp. I know you could have a doppelganger, but isn't it just weird that all of these famous Hollywood celebrities look exactly like these people? The theory is that they've been taking some kind of drug that keeps them alive for hundreds of years and also makes them look younger. I wouldn't be surprised if this theory actually came true, because these people look exactly alike.
wondered where your hard-earned tax money goes? Brace yourself, because the shocking truth will leave you speechless. It turns out that the only purpose of your tax dollars is to make the rich even richer. But wait, there's more. In the United States, there's no government-funded unemployment or retirement fund, and proper health care seems like a distant dream. So where does all that money collected by the government each year actually go? Prepare to be stunned. A significant portion is used in financing wars, not just in Ukraine, but also in Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, and Yemen. But why? What's the United States' motive for engaging in these conflicts? It's all about gaining resources, asserting dominance, and avoiding potential conflicts. The United States spends a massive chunk of its tax revenue on military activities abroad. The U.S. Army has well over 6,500 tanks, each costing on average $5 million. That's a mind-blowing $32 billion spent solely on tanks. Now, can you even imagine the astronomical costs of military planes and boats? And we just out here. We're chilling. We're out here chilling. I hear it. I hear him. Where's she at? What the fuck is that noise, bro? What is that noise? The voice seems to echo from the ocean, making it hard to pinpoint the location. But things get weirder and weirder as time goes on. This is crazy. I heard it. I heard it. I hear it. Oh my god. that vaguely sounds like it says jump for me more than once and can be heard again later on during the live stream that's crazy that's not pointed out that as we hear it say jump for me, we can see a light in the water towards the left briefly before he pans the camera away. And at first, they thought the singing and wailing sounds were just coming from dolphins or orcas. But as time went on, things got even more bizarre. And at one point, something seems to be knocking on the outside of his boat right where his bunk bed is and then he catches something in the water
So I went out on deck to see what it was. Yo, what is that? What the fuck is that? At one point, he tries to communicate with the mermaid or siren and gets an instant response, which further made him believe he's not dealing with any dolphins. Can you hear me? <laughs> Yo, that shit was instantaneous, bro. Oh, I gotta watch my step out here, man. God damn. Things get truly strange when one night he tries to go live and then his live got stopped after receiving this message supposedly for community guideline violations and commenters were even saying that they were watching the live and TikTok kept asking them to report Source90 for no apparent reason. Shortly after this, the government turns up on his boat. Watch closely. Let's check out these motherfuckers. You're gonna be out here doing testing. Testing what? What the fuck are you guys testing? That's what I wanna know. We all know Source 90 has heard certain things out in the ocean, and then my TikTok gets banned, and then the government shows up my boat. It's too many fucking coincidences. Ever since this, Source 90 hasn't uploaded any new videos regarding the mermaid or siren that he has heard in the ocean. So perhaps the government was really conducting some suspicious activity in the area and forced Source 90 to stop what he was doing because he may have been getting close to revealing something we have yet to see. Many viewers think this was a siren attempting to lure the man to his death by trying to get him to jump into the ocean as it is said that sirens could even charm the winds. Whereas others think this was a mermaid trying to warn him of something unforeseen. What do you think? Siren or mermaid or something else entirely. We are living in a simulation. The simulation theory was first proposed in 2003 by philosopher Nick Bostrom. Bostrom predicted that there is a good likelihood that humanity as a whole will advance to the point where we can mimic our ancestors in a simulation, just like we do now with computer games. Bostrom gives three alternative explanations and argues that at least one of them is almost certainly true. The first, we're living in a computer simulation. The second, advanced civilizations have no interest in simulating us. And finally, civilizations are destroyed before they reach capabilities of simulating consciousness. Bostrom proposed that we could be living in one of the thousands of simulated realities at the mercy of whoever is out there running the simulations. August 19th, 1987, a broadcast from the KNBC studios in Burbank, California was taking place. Everything was going as planned, that was until a special guest entered the room. You know, one of the nicest things about shopping by mail order... Pardon me? What is this? A man named Gary Stolman entered the room brandishing a firearm which has been blurred to accommodate TikTok's guidelines. He managed to gain access to the studio by claiming to be a guest of one of the station workers. He pointed the firearm at KNBC journalist David Horowitz and ordered him to read a written statement. When I began receiving disturbing calls from my parents, which led me to believe that something terrible was going on. 
This statement, prepared by Stolman himself, claimed that his father Max, who worked as the KNBC pharmacist reporter, was quote, not his biological father, but a clone created by the CIA and alien forces. Despite Horowitz remaining calm, he later stated that he was frightened but remained calm so the situation did not get worse. After the statement was finished, Stolman placed the weapon on the desk and admitted it was an unloaded BB gun after being taken into custody. Get rid of her. Uh, it's a ah! Ah! Deja vu. The feeling of familiarity, yet with a sense of mystery. The sensation that you've been in a certain place or situation before even though you know you haven't. For many, deja vu is a common occurrence, yet the scientific explanation behind it remains a mystery. Some scientists believe it to be a glitch in the brain's memory system, while others propose it as a sign of past lives or parallel universes. There is a theory that states our consciousness has lived thousands of lives before, and when you die, the bright light you see at the end of the tunnel is you coming back to the world as a newborn. However, recent studies have shown that deja vu is related to the brain's ability to process and organize memories. It is thought that the feeling of deja vu occurs when the brain recognizes a new situation but cannot find the correct memory to match it with. It is a temporary confusion between the short-term memory and the long-term memory, but it still can't be explained by science. How's it going? I was speeding, wasn't I? Yeah, you completely blew that stop sign in front of me. I did. I'm, I'm so sorry. I okay. literally okay. didn't even see it. All right. um, no this worries. is my first time being pulled over. All right. Can I see your driver's license registration? Yeah. Um, not a big deal. Here's my license, but um, this is my mom's car. So. Where are you headed to where you're speeding and missing stop signs? I was just headed to a friend's house. It's like literally right there. It's um, okay. a birthday party. So. Got it. Not oh, mine, but... Any drugs or alcohol in the vehicle? No, of course not. All right. Sit tight, sir. I'll be right back. Okay. Your registration is... Ex what the... What the fuck? Sarah? This is real. What the heck? Sarah? 3201. That's some crazy right there. Dispatch. In a historic moment that's captured the world's attention, on July 26, 2023, three witnesses stood before Congress to share their experiences with unidentified flying objects. The witnesses, including a former Navy pilot, a retired Navy commander, and an ex-intelligence community official, testified about mysterious objects encountered in the air, the frequent sightings by pilots, and an alleged covert government program involving recovered alien spacecraft. Former Navy pilot and retired Navy commander David Fravor recounted his encounter with a tic-tac-shaped object that hovered just over the ocean only to accelerate and vanish abruptly when he maneuvered his jet closer. Take a listen. As we proceeded to the west, the air controller was counting down the range to an object that we were going to, and we were unaware of what we were going to see when we arrived. There, uh, the controller told us that these objects uh, had been observed for over two weeks, coming down from over 80,000 feet, rapidly descending to 20,000 feet, hanging out for hours, and then going straight back up. For those who don't realize, above 80,000 feet is space. All four of us, because we were in F-18 F, so we had pilots and Wizzo in the back seat, looked down a small, saw a white tic-tac object with a longitudinal axis pointing north-south and moving very abruptly over the water like a ping-pong ball. We continued down another 270 degrees, nose low, where the tic-tac, or we consumed 270 degrees to where the, and we went nose low to where the tic-tac would have been. As we pulled nose onto the object within about a half mile of it, it rapidly accelerated in front of us and disappeared. Our wingmen, roughly 8,000 feet above us, lost contact also. However, the most riveting testimony came from former military intelligence officer David Grush. Recently gone public with his account, Grush claimed that the US government has spent decades in secret recovery operations of crashed mysterious vehicles of non-human origin. According to him, the government has even attempted to reverse engineer some of these unearthly technologies. Listen here as Grush describes a covert team recovering non-human biologics after one particular incident. If you believe we have crashed craft, uh, stated earlier, do we have the bodies of the pilots who piloted this craft? 
As I've stated publicly already in my News Nation interview, uh, biologics came with some of these recoveries. Yeah. Were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human, and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct knowledge on the program I talked to that are currently still on the program. Continuing on, he recounts his own personal encounters as disturbing. Uh, I can't get into the specifics in an open environment, but at least the activity that I personally witnessed, and I have to be very careful here, uh, because you don't, you know, I tell you never to acknowledge tradecraft, right? So what I personally witnessed myself and my wife was very disturbing. Despite the Pentagon's dismissal of such claims as unsubstantiated, Grush asserted that the US government became aware of non-human intelligence as far back as the 1930s. He admitted knowing individuals with direct knowledge of such non-human origin craft, but couldn't disclose their names publicly. Much of the information regarding the initiation and authorization of the supposed program is classified, he claimed. The congressional hearing held by the House Oversight Committee's National Security Subcommittee sparked further interest among lawmakers. Some expressed a desire for closed-door meetings with Grush and other officials in secured facilities to learn more. Grush agreed to provide a list of individuals for future hearings, hinting at a complex network of knowledge within the government. The testimonies, though groundbreaking, were met with mixed reactions. Skeptics pointed to the lack of concrete evidence, while others noted the limitations imposed by classified information. Disclosing such information could lead to severe penalties, including imprisonment, thereby constraining what the witnesses could actually divulge. Despite the uncertainties, this hearing marks a significant point in the pursuit of knowledge about the unknown. It was the second congressional hearing on UFOs held in as many years, after more than half a century without one. The witnesses' willingness to put their credibility on the line in such a public forum is a testament to their conviction. The object, described as a dark gray or a black cube inside of a clear sphere, came within 50 feet of the lead aircraft and was estimated to be 5 to 15 feet in diameter. The testimonies have ignited a renewed public interest and debate regarding extraterrestrial life. However, until the relevant documents are declassified, the public may remain in the dark, left to speculate on the potential existence of life beyond our planet. The developments in the coming years will determine whether these hearings will be remembered as the first steps towards a groundbreaking revelation, or simply another chapter in UFO conspiracy theories. As I've stated publicly already in my News Nation interview, uh, biologics came with some of these recoveries. Yeah. Were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human, and that was the assessment of people. reality is different from what we remember. The Mandel Effect is a phenomenon where a large group of people remember an event or a fact differently than it actually happened or was reported. The term was coined by author Fiona Broom in 2010 when she realized that many people remembered Nelson Mandela dying in prison in the 1980s when in reality he was released in 1990 and died in 2013. The phenomenon has been observed in many other instances as well, such as people remembering the logo of the famous chocolates company Nestle being different than it is currently. Many people believe 
that the Mandel effect is evidence of a parallel universe or time travel, while others believe that it is a result of false memories or that people are mixing up similar events or facts. Some experts suggest that the phenomenon is a result of the way our brains process information and that our memories can be influenced by our expectations, emotions, and the context in which we learn new information. The United States claims to have sent 24 astronauts to the moon and that 12 men even walked on the moon. But this man approached majority of those astronauts and he asked them to swear on the Bible that they actually walked on the moon. And their responses give away everything. If you walked on the moon, we're given the opportunity to swear to God that you walked on the moon. I'm going to give you the opportunity to get the hell knocked out of you don't leave me alone. So why don't you just put the into the record in the argument and put your hand on the Bible, swear to God you walked on the moon. Mr. Cyber, knowing you, that's probably a fake Bible. Well, you're talking to the wrong guy. Why don't you talk to the administrator at NASA? We're passengers. We're, we're guys going on a flight. I don't hit people, but you're going to be on the deck unless you can do Well, I take your stuff and get NASA has been exposed for lying to us. Recently, fans of NASA's page have noticed unusual things in NASA's old and recent videos. They have called out many American astronauts' experimentation videos in the ISS, assuring that they were fake. The ISS is an international space station. It is located in space, meaning there is no gravity in the space station. Now, people are not denying the fact that the space station exists. We do know that it does exist. We can sometimes see it through telescopes, and there are engineers inside the station as we speak. However, NASA has been called out for fake experimentations that were not conducted in the ISS. And here is the proof. In this video, you can clearly see that their movement is very unusual. Zero G does not act in this kind of motion. One of the astronauts clearly hides an elastic harness that was visible on camera. And when it comes to long hair and woman, they don't just stay up and not move. This astronaut's hair has clearly been hairsprayed. It's not moving at all. This is how hair really moves in outer space. In this clip, this astronaut's harness goes through a malfunction and gravity somehow spawns in the station. In this clip, we can see NASA officials editing a video of an astronaut explaining water in zero gravity using a green ball. He was never in space. And in this clip, we can see bad editing skills, where the green screen transition went wrong. And in this one, well, it's very, very clear. We all can see two elastic harnesses holding this astronaut from the back to keep him off the ground. Like, has NASA ever been to space? Or was it another authority that built the ISS and NASA was just the puppet? You tell me. So do you hear anything? No. Go towards the light more. Go like more like in the center of the kitchen? Yes. Alright, I'm in the center now. It's, it's just, it's like, now it's like neon white. I'm in a totally different room now. It's all white. All white? Is there anyone with you? No. Wait, this dude. Is this all playing black, man? Get out! Are you okay? Are you okay? What? Are you okay? Yeah. Are you alive? Yeah. It was an all playing black man? Are you serious? Are you joking? No. Oh my god. Okay. He was in the game! Okay. Are you okay? What? No! Oh god! What? Are you, you're fine, you're fine. I, I woke wanna, you I, I, would, I just wanna play Madden. With that being said, you have just witnessed creepy, scary, spooky, and strange videos to hit the internet. And no, I do not celebrate any holiday on this planet. I only celebrate my own holidays. And if you knew, you would do better. But, with that being said, it's the B-I-G-F-A-T-H-E-R, and I'm out of this mother until next October. I'm gone. <sighs>